Hi everybody. Uh, my cat Middens is with me and I apologize the air conditioner is on but it's on low at least. <laughs> uh, and what I'm gonna do here is and I don't want to do you know too many rock music related videos on this channel. I want to try and do different things but you know sometimes I'll do some rock music related videos like today and I thought I would take my time and show you some of my favorite uh, I guess call it greatest hits mainly and uh, compilations Mo most of them are, are greatest hits though and I'm gonna end it opening this mystery CD because I, I have some CDs slowly coming in and I have no idea which one this is. So I hope most of you can watch the whole video. I'd appreciate it. It helps my, ch my channel. And even if you can't watch it, just let it run. <laughs> so here we go. Not in any order. First up, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. The Best of Everything. Uh, 1976, 2016. The d definitive career spanning hits collection, and he had a lot of hits, as you know. And he, this is the only album of his I have. I totally respect him as an artist. I've never heard a bad song by him. Uh, but I just like, uh, I don't know if you would say more challenging music, but definitely. Tom Petty is one of the greats. Comes with a nice booklet. Some of these booklets, because they're <laughs> they're on CD, of course, they're sometimes difficult to read. It was a very sad day when he passed away, of course. Yeah, a very classy compilation. That's a, I love that photo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, free, like so many hits. Free Fallen, Mary Jane's Last Dance, You Wreck Me, I Won't Back Down, uh, You Don't Know How It Feels, Don't Do Me Like That, Listen to, your, listen to Her Heart, Breakdown, The Waiting, Don't Come Around Here No More, Southern Accents, I Should Have Known It, Refugee, American Girl, Wildflowers, Learning to Fly, which I think is my all-time favorite, and many, many more. Going back to the 60s, The Essential, Paul Revere and the Raiders. And there's, there's a lot of these essential double discs, and they're all really well done.
Oh yeah, this one opens up like that. Lots of songs. And the band. The great Mark Lindsay and of course Paul Revere. My favorite song of theirs is uh, not that well known, but it was kind of a semi-hit. Mr. Sun, Mr. Moon. And of course, kicks and uh, stepping out. The great airplane strike. Good thing is another favorite of mine. Next up, the Bee Gees. Yes, I have a Bee Gees CD, and I'm proud to admit it. <laughs> I even like their, you know, their disco years. Some people, you know, made fun of their disco years and. I remember in the uh, late 70s that kind of like, you know, some of the biggest artists like Michael Jackson, it's like just so much of them that you do get tired of hearing about them. And, <laughs> and then when they're not as popular, you realize what, a, what great artists that they actually were. I do prefer their earlier songs more than the disco, but times change. So my favorites on this are Spits and Specs, To Love Somebody, I've Got to Get a Message to You, I Started a Joke, which might be my favorite, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, and then, oh, Nights on Broadway too, it's one of my favorites. And yeah, Staying Alive, Night Fever. I've even got a country, country and western CD, because growing up I used to listen, you know, I used to, I didn't have that many records, and my dad would uh, get records from Columbia House back in the 60s, and so I'd listen to, you know, Hank Snow, Johnny Cash, Roger Miller, and I'd like some of the records, including Buck Owens. What a great talent he was. And of course, the Beatles covered uh, Act Naturally. I have quite a few CDs here, so this might be two or three parts, because I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm rushing through it. I've even got favorite Buckle One songs. They are, of course, Act Naturally. Love's Gonna Live Here is probably my favorite. And I've got a tiger by the tail and together again. Yeah. Buck Owens and the Buckaroos. <laughs> now this is probably one of the oldest CDs I have. I probably bought it when CDs, I don't know what year it was, 84. 485 they came out and so I've had this for years and years and years the cure standing on yeah staring at the sea the singles someday I would love to have their whole discography and just plain old label and you know back then <laughs> they didn't really package them that well Kind of boring, but great music. My favorites on this are A Forest, Killing an Arab, The Love Cats, In Between Days, possibly one of my favorite songs of theirs, Close to Me, yeah, The Cure. This is Beatles related. 
And I don't play this very often because their their history, you know, has a very tragic ending, of course, and it's bad finger. But they were a very talented band. Apple label. Come and get it. The great song written by Paul McCartney is my favorite of theirs. And his demo, when it was on the Beatles anthology series, and he did everything on it and it sounded as good as the Badfinger version. He really wrote them a great hit. And Baby Blue, No Matter What, Without You, of course. Badfinger. Now this, this isn't really a compilation, it's just uh, the solo artist's first few albums all put together on three CDs, and it's basically everything I would want by Rod Stewart. And it's got some bonus tracks on it. It's really, really well done. Mod the Rod. My favorite album of his is uh, Never a Dull Moment. Although every picture tells a story, isn't that a distant? So disc one, his debut album, and Gasoline Alley, and then Every Picture Tells a Story, and like I said, there are bonus tracks, and uh, yeah, Never a Dull Moment, and then uh, Pinball Wizard, and Smiler, the album Smiler, which I actually never really listened to. That's when I stopped kind of listening to his music, although in the 80s I did enjoy uh, I did buy his album Tonight I'm Yours with the song Young Turk on it, and I enjoyed it. He had some pretty catchy hits in the 80s and 90s. He's okay in my book. Yeah, I'll do, I'll just do half of these and open up the, the package. The Rascals. The complete singles, A's and B's. Really nice compilation. On the Atlantic label, one CD. We have, oh, two CDs, I'm wrong. <laughs> I forgot. These always break, so annoying. And the booklet is very, very thorough. My favorite song of theirs was just a minor hit, but it was pretty, pretty heavy for, I think it was 1969. The song is called C, S-E-E, -E, from their album, C. And maybe by the time I do the next video in a day or two, I'll have another CD to open too. I hope that looks safe. So yeah, all of their singles with the B-sides. So imagine, you know, I'm a, 
a fan, but I'm not a huge fan. So, but imagine a, a big fan of the Rascals getting this. That would be pretty, pretty cool to get. You know, waiting all this time and getting that. Two more, and then I'll open the package. This is probably the first greatest hits el album that I ever owned on vinyl. And it came in a, was it Octagon, I think you call it? I don't know. It's the Rolling Stones. Through the Past Darkly, Big Hits Volume 2. And back in, so I was like 10, 11 years old when I got this. And I was disappointed because I wasn't a fan of the Rolling Stones. You know, I was totally into the Beatles. <laughs> but I started playing this and I started absolutely loving it so it's always been special to me. Not the greatest package though. And my favorite song on, well a lot of favorite songs, but 2000 Light Years From Home is my favorite Rolling Stones song and then uh, paint, you know, Paint It Black, Ruby Tuesday, She's a Rainbow, Jumpin' Jack Flash, just so many great songs. <laughs> the whole, the whole album. One more, then I'll open the package. This is a compilation, and it's remixed, and it is John Lennon, Give Me Some Truth. Lots of songs. And I believe when I did the review for this, I think it was this video, and I was seeing really good things. I was getting emotional too because before this and the remix where, you know, they bring up his vocals a lot. Uh, I, you know, I always loved John Lennon, of course, but it just hit me how great he was with this especially bringing up the vocals. But I said things about, you know, Yoko Ono too, because, you know, she gets a lot of, a lot of negativity. Uh, but I have some of her CDs, and, you know, I get flack from it on my main channel, but everybody likes what they like. But I think, uh, because my, my main channel is one of the few on the John Lennon official YouTube channel, and they have me on, on their channel. And, and that's why I've gotten a couple of really nice letters from John and Yoko. I mean, other YouTubers did too, but I was one of them. So I feel very fortunate. And I got uh, the Imagine on white vinyl. And I got the Plastic Ono Band box set. There was, you know, and I understand, you know, I'm not... I understand it's to promote, oh, look what I got, and, you know, promote the... But they don't have to do it, right? And uh, they saw my my great personality. And <laughs> so this is, yeah, really well put together. Oh, it opens up. Gimme. Truth. You can pause that if you want to read it. Well, I haven't looked at this in like a year. It's 
so I kind of forgot. The booklet is really nice. When, it, when I do that and, you know, I'm looking in the camera, I'm thinking, that, that would make a good thumbnail. <laughs> I'm actually, because somebody asked me recently on my main channel, uh, like, why why do you like Yoko Ono? Because I guess he doesn't, and he, he's just curious. And so at some point I'm going to make a video, but it's like I'm almost dreading it because I know, you know, the way comments are on YouTube that I'm going to get some negativity. I mean, not necessarily, that's not so bad, it's the, the nasty comments which of course I just remove and usually block. It's, you know, it's like, I, I would never ask anybody, well, why do you like Nickelback? <laughs> you know, it's because they like them. Why do they, why do they, why do they have to explain? It's like, like what you like. <laughs> I'm going to get mad on my ASMR channel. Don't get me going. Okay, here we go. <sighs> oh yeah. I'm slowly uh, getting Elvis Costello in my collection again. I have always had like two or three of the CDs, but it's like I have a new interest in his later material. And I just got Brutal Youth, which I'm told is really, really good. And I think I've mentioned on this channel his latest one, uh, The Boy, I forget the name of it now, but it is so good. And I've heard this one is excellent, too. Let's open up. The, yeah, the boy named Ill. That's it. I love that cover photo, I believe. <laughs> That's Elvis Costello and his brother. Really nice back cover, too. Oh, it comes with a CD. Kind of hard to see, I guess. That would make a good thumbnail. Let me know in the comments section below if you're still watching this video. <laughs> no, nobody leaves a comment. Yeah. <laughs> and I've, I've also noticed recently, I've seen him on talk shows and, you know, he's a pretty serious artist overall, but he's actually, he can make fun of himself and he's funny. <laughs> I, I didn't even see that. That's funny. <laughs> and that. Very nice. So that is it. And I will do part two in a day or two. And thank you for being a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, and if you're not, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And there's a playlist going to be here somewhere, and I hope you watch more of my videos. Yeah. Have a great day.